Does that mean that you all plan to continue swashbuckling your way through history? With the Time Bureau's permission, of course. And if I deny you permission? I'll do it anyways. Our legends at the end of the premiere were left with their time shift. They haven't been deputized by the Time Bureau yet. But what they decide is like, you know what? We should show them that we've still got what it takes. You know, we're a little rusty. We've been out of the out of the time travel game for five months. So like, let's pick the simplest anachronism. Let's pick the easiest problem to fix. Oh, Wisconsin 1870. It's a level one. Oh, I do hope you choose that one. The anachronism is located at the grounds of P.T. Barnum's roving museum of freaks and hypnotic hippodrome. Perfect. We're bringing the circus to the circus. And by the way, P.T. Barnum is Billy Zane. And this is the first time Billy Zane and, uh, and Victor Garber have been on, on screen together since Titanic. I refuse to set foot on the Titanic. Whoever built that ship ought to be shot. The anachronism is actually a saber-toothed tiger that was displaced from the Ice Age. And P.T. Barnum, being the greatest showman on Earth, has taken this thing and, and turned it into his quote-unquote <laughs> showstopper. Look who joined the circus! Billy Zane, I gotta say, He's so awesome. Like, there was a moment where we're like, we should just have him be every guest star. You know, Madame Curie, Billy Zane. You know, it's a great episode. We're gonna need a bigger tent. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel to see more from DC's Legends of Tomorrow.